Miss out on the first film? Well, do yourself a favor and jump on this incredibly cool bandwagon now. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Raid 2, Barrendahl. blockbusters often reverberate across the globe, it's rare for a foreign film to do the same. And interestingly, they tend to be martial arts films, as violence is a universal language. Enter the Dragon, Hard Boiled, Rumble in the Bronx, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, all of these films manage to not only get on Hollywood's radar, the industry is always looking for new talent, but also registered with American moviegoers. An impressive feat considering they are far more apathetic to foreign films than their fellow moviegoers in any other country. But even in this regard, The Raid Redemption was special. While Hong Kong and China have dominated global martial arts, this 2011 action flick was from Indonesia, which had hardly been a major exporter of movies beforehand. What's more, The Raid Redemption was the brainchild of Welsh writer-director Gareth Evans, who, unhappy with his life, had taken his wife's suggestion that they move to her native country. It was there that, working on a documentary about Indonesia's unique style of martial arts, Evans discovered Ika Uwais, a delivery man for a phone company that happened to be a skilled martial artist, and would go on to become the star of The Raid franchise. First, Evans and Uwais made the smaller film Marantu in 2009. It was well enough received that they decided to make a more ambitious film, yet still had to dial things back due to a lack of budget. Nevertheless, the results were spectacular. Premiering in the prestigious Toronto International Film Festival to rave reviews, it became a huge cult hit. Now comes the sequel, The Raid 2, Berendal, which means thugs in Indonesian, which is the film Evans had originally wanted to make and now he can afford to. In fact, Evans is now rubbed by the prestigious WME agency in Hollywood, who are negotiating his deal to be the executive producer on the inevitable American remake of The Raid. Wait, wasn't that dread? Anyway, if Evans wants to direct Hollywood movies himself, the sequel is a crucial test. And why hasn't Hollywood taken an interest in Ika Uwais as they did Bruce Lee, Chow Yun-Fat, Jackie Chan, and Zhang Zi? Why was it Joe Taslam that got the call for Fast 6? Then again, maybe they're both happy sticking with their signature franchise. The Raid 3 has already been announced. But either way, can the Raid 2 Barrendahl possibly live up to the hype? This movie has everything. Amazing martial arts, shootouts, car chases. It's a spectacular piece of martial arts filmmaking. And the reason I need to categorize it like that, though, is because it does have its flaws, which I'll get to in a moment. But let me first say that going into the film, I did have my concerns to begin with. And that's because while I did like The Raid, when I saw that the running time of The Raid 2 is two hours plus, as I said, I got concerned because I was like, that's a lot of martial arts. I don't know if I can be, if I, this can hold my interest for that long. So uh, as the movie started, uh, my concerns were not assuaged because uh, I have to say that the acting and the writing here is film student level. Uh, which is unfortunate, but I think it's it's a harsh reality, and I think we, you know, even us fans of The Raid and The Raid 2, we need to be fair to it, and we need to, you know, be honest with ourselves and Gareth Evans. And speaking of honesty, if Gareth Evans can just admit to himself that he's not a good writer, despite being a spectacular director and editor, uh, then I think he has a very strong career in front of him. But some people just can't let that go. Some people want to think that they can do everything. But Gareth Evans, hey, two out of three ain't bad. Uh, the other really talented individual here, oh, there's, of course, Iku Uwais, the star. Very good job uh, with the fight scenes that he's given. But also the fight choreographer, who's in the film. He's the little guy in the raid, and he's also in this film as well. Uh, he does an amazing job. So while the beginning of the movie, the acting and the writing is poor, so like, as I said, student film student level, um, once they kind of, you know, start to pick up steam with the film, with the fights and the action sequences, which I'd say is right around the, the mud prison fight, the movie just takes off, and none of that matters. I mean, it doesn't improve, but who cares about that when you have such amazing uh, you know, action sequences, fight sequences, as I said, shootouts and car chases on display, and amazing cinematography, amazing set design. This stuff rivals The Godfather and The Dark Knight. We're talking that level of visual 
filmmaking. I was just really impressed with that aspect of it. And it kind of creates a weird situation where basically somebody gave a lot of money to uh, some very talented filmmakers who just happen to not be very experienced yet. And it shows. So I think because of that, if you are a martial arts fan, even in the slightest, you will love this movie. You have to see it. But because of these flaws, uh, at the same time, I don't think that The Raid 2 is going to win over anybody who isn't really into martial arts, which is a shame. But maybe Gareth Evans and Iko Oase and the rest of these talented people can get them on the next one. And I'll be curious, you know, we talked about uh, Morning Movie News uh, yesterday about the fact that they're going to have a, a remake of this. And I would say that while I can see somebody remaking the first Raid film, I can't see anybody remaking this because despite its flaws, the strengths are just that good that I just think nobody should touch it. Oh, and the last thing I want to add, uh, in addition to some of the main actors not being so great, I thought there was a problem with some of the extras. Maybe this is a, a you know a problem with um, you know martial arts films in general because you have to hire people who are good fighters. But I felt that all the actors seemed to be very aware that they were in the raid and what that meant, and that was an exciting thing. They were in the raid sequel, uh, and it just it showed on camera. It's it's I think that problem comes into film student films as well because it's like when you cast all your friends, they know they're making a movie for you and they're all excited about it, and they can't just be natural. Uh, but as I said, all that just melts away in the awesomeness of these action sequences. And I just, I was really, you know, taken away. It was thrilling. So I, as I said, highly recommend it to martial arts fans. Maybe other people might want to give it a shot to see what all the fuss is about. But uh, just be aware that there are some problems with the writing and the acting. All right, so that's my review of The Raid 2 Berendahl. Write your thoughts down below, and I hope you check out these other episodes right now.